Hello there, Eagles. You are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Today our topic is topic 11, lesson number one. And today's learning target is, I can use fractions to represent division by drawing a model. Our vocabulary is a repeat from previous lessons, but I want you to rewrite it because it's important. It's important for you to know. So here in the number one fourth, the one is our numerator and the four is our denominator. I've told you an easy way to remember that is that the denominator is down, d, d. Dividend, the number that is being divided, that's the number inside the house. Divisor, that's the number by which the dividend is being divided. That's the number on the outside of the house. And quotient, well, that's the answer to a division problem. So here's today's problem of the day. Mrs. G wants to share three candy bars evenly with the rest of the fifth grade teachers. How many candy will each of the four teachers get? Well, I'm going to draw a model. And here I'm going to draw it to look like three candy bars. So here we have three candy bars. And now I need to split each of these candy bars amongst four different teachers. So here we have one teacher a second teacher, a third teacher, and a fourth teacher. So now we have three candy bars split evenly among four teachers. So what kind of division problem does this show? Well, this shows us three, because we've got three candy bars, divided by four, or four teachers. So as a fraction, we would write three divided by four by simply writing three-fourths three divided by four. So each teacher will get three fourths of a candy bar. Three divided by four is the same as three fourths. Pretty easy, right? Let's try another one. Here we could use a number line to do this problem instead of drawing a model. So in this case, I have a number line split into three big sections, and then each of those sections is split into four. So here we're going to highlight three, and then we're going to count again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So again, it shows that each teacher is going to get three-fourths of a candy bar. So you can either draw out pictures, this is an easier way for me to do it by drawing a model, or you could use a number line. Whatever way works for you works for me. So try this one. Draw a model to show how Valeria can divide four loaves of bread between six people. How much of the bread will each person get? Go ahead and pause the video, draw a model, and show me the division problem and fraction that you would have as a result. Coming back in five, four, three, two, one. Well, here's the model that I drew. Four loaves of bread split evenly among six people. So the division problem here would be, well, the answer here would be four sixths or reduced would be two thirds of a loaf of a bread. In other words, each person would get one, two, three, four sixths of a loaf of bread, but we've reduced it to two thirds. So the division problem here would also be four divided by six. Now you try. Here are tonight's practice problems. For one, two, and three, you're gonna write a division expression for these fractions. And then for four and five, you're gonna write, write each division expression here as a fraction. So we're just flip-flopping what I wanna see on each of these. If it would help you to draw a model, go ahead and do that, or use a number line, you can do that too. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Coming back in five, four, three, two, one. So the answer for number one, for one eighth, that is the same thing as one divided by eight. Number two, this is the same as two divided by three. And number three, it's the same as five divided by eight. Remember this little line in the fraction I've always taught you is just a division symbol. So five divided by eight is how you would read that. Now here, if we have the opposite where we have nine divided by 11, we know that nine is going to be our numerator and 11 is gonna be our denominator. 
So in this case, number four, the answer is 9 elevenths, and number five, the answer is 3 sevenths. Go ahead and check your work and write how many you got correct out of the five problems. Remember, be honest, it isn't for a grade. Honestly, fill out this self-reflection. Could you teach a friend or are you still confused? And fill in the space for any questions you still have. Hope you have a great night and we're looking forward to teaching you more about dividing fractions coming up. Bye-bye.